planet Fulgaia is slowly rotting, its once lush vegetation withering away. As if that weren't enough, all sorts of predators roam the desert and prey on innocent travelers. Yet there are some willing to brave this wasteland to seek their fortunes. These folks are known as drifters. <laughs> so much for this epic opening. Forget that, ignore that. Baseball Comfort's Revenge after I didn't do a series on that. But hey, check it out. Some early credits. And some scenes we haven't seen before. And some we have. What now? I think someone's on the roof. Yes, I must agree. I believe this person may be the... It's a little too fast. Would someone like to volunteer to go up and investigate? You're joking, right? Don't look at me. I'm not as naive as to turn my back on a stranger. Very well then, I shall take the lead. But please escort the young lady on your way up. Yeah, more auto-dialogue. Sometimes it's just too fast. Because this is a like Japan-developed game, so yeah, translation, uh, yeah, you understand. What's this? <laughs> looks like we've got company. You guys sure don't look like guardsmen to me. Who are you, anyway? And you, punk? Didn't I see you kick in the window and break into the cabin? Don't tell me you blokes are all drifters going after the same treasure. Yes, we've been hired to guard the treasure. At least that holds true for me. We are here to protect, protect, ugh, to protect the goods from ruffians. I kindly ask that you withdraw. I'd like to avoid any bloodshed and unnecessary expense. 
We welcome unnecessary bloodshed, and we're not paying the expenses. Once we take care of business here, there's a hefty reward waiting to roll right in. We don't have time to play. I'd like to avoid the unnecessary bloodshed part, though. Oh, I wonder who they're looking for. I'm very sharp. By the way, how's your shooting? I'll do my best. Glad to hear. I'll be counting on you. And you too. I ask for your assistance as well. What are you plotting? So are you planning to bite the dust or bite the bullet and face us? Listen, time is money. Let's get the start already. We're one short without Lucio, you know. I don't think we should bite off more than we can chew. You blokes just do as I say. Or do you have a problem with that? You want to end up dead like Lucio? Psych yourself up. Shut your fly. Uh, Janice. Cascade. Get ready to wreak havoc. Wonder if I should cut out my dialogue or not. How did I get myself into this? I mean, we just met two seconds ago, and now we're all buddy together? I mean, come on. Hey, is anyone listening to me? Stop rambling, we have to work together. Yes, ma'am. And here we are, combat. So, hey, four people here all at once, just suddenly. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, out of battle is off, so we can take control. So, yeah. We do have all our items, which kind of makes sense. You know, we're all together now. We're all bringing what we got in. So right now, we don't have a lot of choices. Let's just shoot Romero. And you can also shoot Romero. Like, yeah, we'll probably just all focus on the same guy for now. You could analyze, actually. So maybe you should analyze Romero. If you can before we kill. Throwing star and Virginia's already like half down. You can see she's very weak compared to everyone else. Wow. Yikes. Oh, uh, is everyone okay? Virginia can use the force ability Mystic by expending 25 FP. Mystic is an ability where an effect from a single item can be applied to multiple targets. Hey, you got your healing powers right here too. I can restore everyone's health in one shot, so just give me a holler. Great, thanks. Let's all work together. If we get a chance to. Nice. That's solid. Everyone's already getting beat though. They're pretty fast. What do we know about Romero? Not much. It's pretty much going to be this way for everyone we uh, analyze as far as I can tell. So there's not actually a lot of point in doing it. Look, just like Paper Mario, you, you wanna, you really wanna do it. Alright, so let's see what we can do. Virginia does not have enough FP to use her thing. We could try. Okay, let's see if we can heal Barry herself immediately. Clive. Okay, you don't have a lot going on. Why don't you try and finish off Romero? Oh yeah, and you can see there's a green arrow above him because we've analyzed him. These guys have red arrows. If I hold down triangle... Yeah, I'm holding on triangle this whole time and only pops up for Romero. So that's a little thing. Jet, uh, you're kind of the same way. Try and finish off Romero. Gallows. You kind of can't do a lot, actually. That's the problem, again, with using the Arcana. Is you don't gain any FP for doing it. So. Yeah, it's pretty static, I guess. There we go. Virginia's taking care of herself. Wahoo. Yeah, Jet with all the criticals, though. Wow. Alright, yep, that's the first guy down. I'm already forgetting names, but it's alright. And then I believe they do move on to a random target. Virginia, again, can't do anything. So we'll go ahead and move on to Dario. Clive is out of ammo. And he can't do much beyond that, so... Yeah, go ahead and reload. Jet. Oh, sorry, you keep reloading. He can use Accelerate. He can attack right away. Might as well show it off a little bit. Dario. Gallows. Uh, he can do his stuff now. He could heal someone. He could heal himself. He could do these, yeah, magic attacks. Yeah, I, I'm not going to analyze him. It, it's just kind of a waste. Like, I really want to, but I, I shouldn't. Gallows can just go ahead and shoot Dario, I think. Heretic stab. 
That's a name for an ability. Rude. All right, well, Virginia does have Mystic now. So might as well Mystic use this Heal Berry on everybody. Like, she could alternately do this Ice Gem not on everybody. So literally, this only works on friends. Or maybe it's the same thing as, like, you can only attack the same type of enemy, like A and B or whatever. As silly as that is. She could use a mini character on everyone, which is pretty neat. But yeah, let's just heal up. Clive, how about you lock on? Take a strong shot at Janice. Jet, maybe you can finish off Dario. Gallows, fil help finish off him with style. I'm speaking words, they make sense. Don't you understand? Dario. Oh, baby. Rude, though. Gosh. And, like, yeah, we'll be able to augment stats and stuff later on, so we can help Virginia not be so incredibly fragile. But, like, yeah, the disparity between her health and, like, Clive's health is pretty incredible. There you go, just as I was hoping. Virginia, how about you go for it? Clive... Like, yeah, you can't lock on, go for it. Jet, you should, you should reload. Gallows, how about you heal Virginia? Yeah, luckily he's not going for Virginia. And you saw, well, I guess, yeah. No, Clive isn't even defending. And his heretic stab only did, like, four damage to Clive. So, he must be pretty tanky. Which is maybe not what you'd expect for a sniper rifle, man, but hey, whatever works. Yeah, go ahead, shoot. You should, yeah, go ahead, reload. Shoot, and you can go ahead and shoot. Like a kick in there, too, or something. I honestly haven't been paying attention to the damage numbers we've been dealing. But like, yeah, Gallo's shotgun doing 23? Does that seem low? Was that low? I don't know. And he's out of ammo anyway. Why don't you refrigerate Janice instead? And yeah, that was only 17 with Virginia's guns too. That's a critical and it's 99. I don't know, man. Ugh, we're out of time. Or what might not be worth the risk this time around. It's auto advancing again. Not bad, princess. We say you quit that team and come join us. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't hang out with thugs. Thugs? Listen up, princess. We're all drifters here, aren't we? My, my, would you look at the time? It's time for us to bid adieu. Hope to see you soon. We're not through with you yet. So there you go, that's our first real battle. Look at all our friends. Look at all our numbers. Oh. Hmm? What's that noise? And it is auto playing. Wow. That seems like it would hurt. So long, princess. See you around. seems so easy to fall off and still fall to your death regardless. But hey, congrats on them for being so cool. My apologies for all the trouble. Please report any damages to my client. I shall arrange it so that you will be compensated. That's the box with all that mysterious light, right? What was that anyway? That light, it had some sort of warmth to it. Those thugs were after the light source? What you saw, young lady, was the sparkle of the Arc Scepter. It's a sacred artifact used to communicate with the power that sustains the world. The power that sustains the world? So that's what they were after. Yeah, baby. There it 
goes. Sure was a stormy night, wasn't it? So this is what I get for helping out. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. We seem to have missed our stop while taking care of business. Okay, what now? I must deliver the goods to my client. It should be within walking distance. I believe you might know where that is. Well, uh, yeah, I guess. Go northwest of here to a small village at the foot of the mountain. It's a place called Baskar. And if I may add, it's actually my hometown. I don't want to return. Well, since we're all here, what do you say we go together? I was just in for a ride, but it's not a bad idea to reap the rewards. Let's see, where shall we begin? Oh boy. I know! Let's introduce ourselves! Now I press X. Unless that was good timing, but... Oh, yeah, all that... <laughs> all that auto-dialogue. I can't keep up with that stuff, man. But hey! Look at all those people down there! We used to just have... One? Whoa! Whoa! There you go. Prologue more or less officially over. Here we are, out in the middle of nowhere. And I didn't mention some train tracks that you could see from a distance. That was over to the west of here. Like Gallo said, uh, yeah, just go northwest to a village. Ooh, camera being a little silly. And yeah, here's that very familiar southern sanctuary we were in at Ga as Gallows. So, hey, go figure his prologue involved the open world. Because here we are, right now. And we're dealing with the same enemies he was, so really, there's not much to this battle. Bam. Done. I'm glad we have four people with us. It's so much safer now. <laughs> like, yeah, no XP or anything for that, really. I mean, one XP. Two. Gela. Isn't that worth something? I don't know. Might as well. I mean, honestly, I might as well have skipped it, but... There you go. Again, Virginia is the fastest, so... Don't you question it. Yeah, here are all our people. We can reorder them as we want. We can be like, blah, blah, blah. Great, now everyone's shuffled. Now it's awful and bad. We're still Virginia. We can always switch who we are. And, uh, yeah, L2 will do it really quickly. So you can always just, yeah, switch to a character, use their gadget, uh, get whatever protective on an item or whatever you want. So Virginia is, you know, the protagonist, but you can pretend anyone is. So this is Gallows' hometown, also known as Baskar Colony, where the people believe in the powers that sustain the world, the Guardians. You sure don't react much. Well, I must go finish my assignment. Would you mind introducing me to a lady named Hal? Holly? Uh, she is the one who assigned me the task of delivering the Ark Scepter. But who, me? Uh, introduce you to Granny? I ran away from here three months ago. Everyone thinks I'm dead. Brother? You're home. This is like a dream come true. I did not even foresee this in my dream sight. Although Grandmother did say you would be home soon, she was absolutely right. So, he is family, as well as Hall? Oh, man. Oh, Gallows. Yes, that's the Ark Scepter, all right. A job well done. Here is your reward, and a little extra, just to show my appreciation. Go on, take it. Yum! Thank you! Looks like I caused you more trouble than you bargained for. Not only did you deliver the Ark Scepter, you also brought home my incompetent grandson. Hey, leave me out of this. It was just a coincidence that I came home. Not necessarily. She did mention I may also have to deliver a troublesome package. I had no idea that package would be you until now. Figured robbers and thugs would jump at the Ark Scepter if I released information about its transport. And that this boy would go after it too. 
I never imagined it would be this easy. I should have known. You and your dirty tricks, Granny. But tell me this. If you just wanted me back here, does that mean I've had the real Acceptor all along? And the one we delivered fake? I'm back. so pitiful. Listen well. The Arc Scepter you took, the one transported by train, and the two over there, all four of these are genuine Arc Scepters. Gallows, don't tell me you thought there was only one Arc Scepter in this world. Your lack of discipline for your studies is atrocious. I thought I had taught that to you and Shane. Is that true? The Arc Scepter is a staff which can transmit and receive willpower. In other words, it is a sacred artifact used to communicate with guardians. There are a total of four Arc Scepters in this world. They were enshrined at various places that worship guardians, but are gathered here now. The bearer of an Arc Scepter is capable of sensing the presence of the spiritual guardians which means he or she is capable of materializing and utilizing the power of guardians in this world. The bearer of the Arc Scepter has the right to use the power of the guardian, but the bearer also has the right to kill the guardian. Huh? Shall we go for a walk? I'll continue my story then. The Ark Scepter made it to the colony safely, away from the hands of villains. Thanks to all of you, that is. But I do have a new mission I would like to ask of you. You want us to kill the Guardians? Not exactly. I've been training hard to become a priest, and in the past year or so, I developed a special ability where I can foresee future events through my dreams. It is called Dream Sight. Through this legendary supernatural power, I was forewarned of the following apocalypse. A blue shadow will rise from the ancient dead on our planet, Filgaia. The resurrected blue shadow will wield a sharp, cold sparkle that will eat away the planet. People, animals, and all other life forms will be devoured, and eventually, Filgaia itself. But there's no absolute proof or evidence to back it up. It's just a dream, but this is my kid brother's dream. Trust me, his dreams always come true. Thank you, brother. I call it the Blue Menace. But this threat is not all that the dream speaks. It also tells of how the Blue Shadow will be defeated. The Blue Shadow shall be expelled by releasing the chains which bind the Guardians. Filgaia will eventually rejuvenate, and a little girl will bring about peace and tranquility. My next mission to you is to release the Guardians. This may be a job for your grandson, but we're not Baskars. You can do it. When I said that the Bearer of the Ark Scepter has the right to kill a Guardian, I meant you must face it in battle. It proves that you are worthy to face these intangible, invisible beings. And by fighting and proving your strength, the Guardian will be released from the Earth, transferring itself into a medium. What's a medium? This is a medium. It can be considered a passport that allows mankind to shape the planet and manipulate various powers. But this one here is an imitation made from Baskar technology by extracting the breath of the planet like water and wind and refining it. This mission requires you to create a high-density, pure medium from the bare bones of the planet's breath, the Guardians. Thank you kindly for looking after my incompetent grandson. Please return to the planet. Why'd you have to do that, Granny? A pure medium is much more powerful. All you have to do now is get one. You wield the Arc Scepter, do you not? Prove your strength to the Guardian. Ugh. Pardon me, but we are only here because we happen to meet by chance. 
We are not a team, nor do we have a reason to prove our strength to the Guardians. However, you did call this a mission. Would you mind explaining what our reward would be, should we accept this assignment? A reward? Ah, yes, a reward. Your reward will be the mediums, transformed from Guardians. Take it. Excuse me? Wipe that stern look off your face. Your good looks will go to waste. There are four Arc Scepters, and there are four of you. Each one of you is worthy to face a Guardian. What you all do with the Medians afterwards is none of my concern. Wait just a minute, Granny. Guardians and their Mediums are valuable assets to us Baskars. We turn to them for guidance. But you would just give away these Mediums to complete strangers? I always thought you were a little slow, but now I just think you're completely senile. I lie. Now that's a surprise. I never realized you were so passionate about our old traditions. Perhaps you are more conservative than I thought. Even if we Baskars were to face the Guardians and receive their mediums, all we would do is enshrine them at this altar and leave them there. And what good would that do? I believe that entrusting the mediums to drifters who traverse the wa vast wasteland is the true meaning behind releasing the Guardians. In a sense, it may be a long shot. But I believe this gamble is necessary, based on the dream Shane had. I know this sounds like a crazy mission, but please consider. I'm in. I want my medium back. I can't back down now. I am more drawn in by her story than anything else. Guardians, the powers that sustain the world. To come into contact with the mysterious entity means... I don't care either way. If we get it, we can only sell it. I mean, if the money's there. I... I'm not sure. But I do feel excited. It's like an adventure for drifters. I've always dreamed about that. Looks like you've decided. We all have our own reasons, but our goal is the same. The four of us would like to accept the mission to release the Guardians. You made a wise decision. Not the fact that you accepted the mission, but the fact that all four of you will carry out this mission together. The Guardians have sealed their bodies in a distant time, but still exist today in intangible forms. Their strength far exceeds those of humans, so you should all watch out for each other. There is no need to rush. Prepare all you want before you prove your strength to the Guardians. It may be wise to brush up your skills and learn more about the Guardians here at Baskar. During a dialogue, words may appear in green letters which signify that they hold an important meeting. Press the square button while the green letters are displayed to activate the Ask system. Activate selected keyword. Ask. This Ask system lets you inquire about the word you have activated. After pressing the keyword, press the X button to get more information about it. Press the circle button to cancer. Cancel. Oh no. Please note the green letters must appear in the text for the ask system to activate. So that's the whole thing. Instead of reading the explanation, why don't you give it a try? You'll get the hang of it that way. I will now give a brief explanation about the sanctuary from which you must release the guardians. If you need me to go over it again, don't hesitate to ask. The guardians are sealed at the base of the southern foothills. What if I just press X though? This sealed land later became known as the Sanctuary, and used as a ground to worship Guardians. Do you have any questions? Uh, uh, wait, explain it one more time. <gasps> Square. On the foothills of the ranges of Zenim lies the presence of Guardians who represent the elements of all things. What are you talking about? The great elements were necessary to make the world what it is. But there are four that exist in everything. They are earth, wind, water, and fire. The guardians of these elements are worshipped as the four great guardians. Knowledge is power. Do not forget. Wow, I learned how to ask questions. Incredible. Well, woof, woof. Great. Here's a new guy in this town. Hi. Crossing the wasteland? Don't worry, Roikman and Co. is always just around the bend. So we do have a merchant here. The first merchant we've ever seen. 
And uh, here you can see we have Call Whistle. Call a horse from anywhere with this whistle. Yes, you can ride horses in this Western game. I saved up a lot of money for this world screen. Displays the entire world map. But I actually couldn't figure out what it did in my time playing. So that's kind of unfortunate. And here's a bunch of, yeah, status cures. I know we're going to want some potions, just because they're handy. I'll buy, like, one of everything. Just to be sure we're at least somewhat prepared, I guess. Or at least we know when we should be prepared. Uh, what do you want to chat? I always used to like traveling, so that interest blossomed in my current business, I suppose. But ever since I sprang to my ankle here, I've been a traveling salesman only in name. Ah, oh, the saddest story. And I think with that saddest story, we're probably going to have to leave it off for now. So we've more or less finished the prologue, but we're not quite done learning all the systems. Because this big guardian fight thing is pretty important. I'm like looking forward to doing it, showing off the new systems. Because that's where it feels like, yeah, the mechanics of the game really opens up. Because, uh, let me just... Oh. <laughs> I was going to show off how Gallows no longer has his medium, like, attached. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. It'll be a pretty important one. Bye bye.